Hello, welcome back to Hexen. Pretty sure this is about where I got to when I did something really dumb and died, so... Uh, if I press this, I can't. Uh, I think I'm back where we got to. Uh, if I'm not, just watch while I run around. Because having, although I have now got back to where we were, I think, I don't really know where to go next. So you get to watch me flounder, which is why you're here, really. That was very confusing. I thought cool stuff was happening, but in fact, that door was closing while the other one opened. It wasn't that interesting, after all. Um, obviously there's a way of getting back up here, and I did try and scroll to get the mouse to zoom in. I can only imagine that you teleport up there. Well, there's something on the map that's not showing up. Oh, there's something that's not showing up on the map. Nothing here. So I've run around up them stairs. Cleared everything out. Might go and get that other combined <coughs> mana. If I can pilot my character around this, obviously, labyrinthine and very difficult, uh, dexterous, dexterously difficult level. Um, so currently I'm somewhat incapable of doing. Go. Okay, uh, that scared me. That was not a live enemy. I got my porker later. Let's have a look on here then. So we've got that switch, which does those two doors. We've done that switch over there, which we can. Oh, right. There's more stuff back there. Let's go and look. Right, we need to go this way. I didn't continue my journey in this direction, perhaps? Stop. I'm wondering if this is one of those switches that looks like a secret, but actually it's not. Yeah, something else opened. I heard it. Ah, down here. That's where we got. Okay, so you're going to watch me do this again. I've completely forgotten <laughs> about the thing. See, this is an odd thing about hexing, which I've talked about in the past. Things that look like secrets, like in... Uh, fuck it. Let's do this. In early uh, levels of Doom, in the very first level of Doom, there's a door slightly darker than other doors, or has a different texture like that, and it gets you outside. So when you start the game, and then there's a way outside, and you're going, I wonder how I get out here, there's a secret door. Which uses similar tropes to that secret door just now, except that secret door, you had to find. There was no uh, excuse for being bad at in Raven video games anymore. You have to know what secret doors look like, which is odd. Um... Because well, it's a secret, right? It, it was a non-obvious door, which in other games, you got a reward for discovering. So I think the fact that Hexen sort of requires you to have discovered these is, is very odd indeed. Hello. Okay, let's use... Let's use Serpent Staff. I do like the fact that Hexen goes through the entire... Oh, I'm stuck on this damn thing. The entire game, just four weapons. In fact, well, obviously not the entire game. You don't start off with them. But, um, you never get more than these weapons. You never get more than those uh, two types of ammo. You just have to deal with it. And it's kind of um, kind of refreshing because I don't feel like the game is any worse off for it. There have been other games where, and more modern games, I think, you, you get used to the idea that you can only carry two weapons, but of course you can find many. Um, can I even get this? Just thinking. There are many games where you can only have um, the main weapon and then a sidearm, for example. That looks like it takes us behind. Yeah, so there's a thing that wasn't on the map. Uh, I'm thinking of... Like, for example, Left 4 Dead 2, which I've been playing a lot of, you get the sidearm, which has infinite ammo. Which is strange, but okay, it works. Um, arcade feel. But you, you can only carry one... Um, one main weapon and then a melee weapon. Uh, wait a minute. You can either carry the melee weapon or a special sidearm, but if you get knocked down, you always got a sidearm, which is just sort of a bizarre take on the whole situation. I mean, okay, it, it works okay. Uh, I would definitely recommend a game like Left 4 Dead 2. It's pretty old now, so you can probably pick it up fairly cheaply. How did I avoid taking damage to it? Because I'm amazing at Isaac and therefore it looks uh, plenty of mana, so we should switch weapon. It's down here. Uh, just every Etin that's ever been spawned by the Legions of Hell. Might play Doom next, what do you think? Um, I wasn't quite sure whether to go Doom or then maybe try and do Hexen 2. Heretic 2 sort of thing. Because Heretic 2 
It was kind of a difficult game to play. I think Damien mentioned this in a comment. But, um, careful, man. I should probably take some of your health. Oh, wait. That, uh, the th third person nature of Harris 2 was kind of new at the time. I think it was around about the time of the first Tomb Raider game, so it wasn't unheard of. Uh, but yeah, it can be a little bit disorientating, or just simply not some people's taste. Uh, let's try using this because it's close together, so we might be able to get some splash damage now, for once. Didn't really pick the most um, accomplished class to play this game on, but it's new for me. So there's that. It's definitely worth doing new stuff. But these are pot per constantly spawning in. We have now got 115 enemies to have killed. I'm using the green mana because there's loads of it. And we still have more of it than we have before. Seems sensible. Don't really know how to use those devices, so I'm going to continue not to. Yeah, they're just spawning in. Now there's 119. That must just be a spawning ground for, um... Well, then. So now I'm just pressing everything, because if things that, you know, don't look like se Things that look like secrets turn out to be required uh, direction to go in, then obviously things that don't look like secrets are secrets, right? Where's that switch gone? It was down here. Take this. Uh, probably a bit inefficient, but we'll live. A bit more blue mana is helpful too. So that has opened presumably this. Yeah, this is new. So that was the one that looked like a secret, and then wasn't so much a secret as just a thing that will open in the future. Oh god. That confused me. I thought we were fighting these, uh. Fighting these stalkers. I didn't sound like a stalker. What do I do? It's okay. We just talk a little bit about the atmosphere in this game, by the way. It's really good. Do you not think? I mean, I was running around before, and the number of noises. There's thunder and lightning from outside. There's the slime noises of these things crawling around underneath your feet. There's the rattles of chains. Am I not supposed to? Alright. <laughs> so that was a... I think I just tickled a bug there. Because I crossed... We've talked about the engine before, because I crossed the side, the, the edge on the map, between me and the pit. I was considered to have stepped into the pit, but I didn't actually step into the pit because I was scared of it. Um, and it's a script, basically. It, someone at some point has timed how long it takes to fall, and said after slightly less than that amount of time, you know, let them uh, teleport, which is really cool. The fact you can teleport from... Uh, change level from within a script. It's extremely good. Um, what am I trying to say? It's, it's really, really useful f to be able to do that because it lets you do such sort of strange, crazy things. I love the fact that the flashes from the sky are timed with the uh, lightning bolt as well, the thunder. Um, it lets you do really cool things, i.e. or e.g. Um, when people jump down into a pit, you can teleport them after a certain amount of time. Um, but it also means that you can sort of, for example, let people change level when they get less health, when they kill everything in a room, when just before like a ceiling comes down on your head. Um, so in this particular, this is my favourite level still. I, we talked about it before. It's the effluvium. Uh, it's my favourite level because one of my favourite pastimes is uh, wading around in everybody's shit. No, I like it because of the mechanics of it. There's this, um... There's a lot of things that we've never seen before, like... A little, uh... Thingy like this that allows you to... <laughs> raise and lower the... Shit level, I guess. And, and the fact that, like, these things move. You can't swim... In this game. That's true. And just a little bit of detail there, do you see that? This closes and it fills up. That's really cool. So I'm guessing that's all I have to do. Not quite sure. Let's go back and see what's open, I suppose. And it's it's a use of a technology that sort of we didn't really have before the the ability to rotate things, but in a very subtle way. I mean, if I had invented a new technology where you could have rotating bits, I would use the hell out of it. Would you not? I don't see anything else. And we went up and then down. No, it's, it's just 
go back. See what we can find. There is a new door here. Let's go. Well. Okay. Let's see what it should have looked like. There we go. So yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, possibilities of that. So many. Um, for example, you could set up a puzzle, which you have to solve, and once solved, you get teleported to the next level. Fair enough. They also don't do weird things in this game, which was a little bit, um, a little bit jarring in a game like Doom, where in you might press this thinking it's a secret door. It's not. There's a pipe in it. But in Doom, there would be basically pipes in places that also opened. They would use textures and sort of not apply the fact that it's a texture to it. I guess we'll just go back through there. Obviously, there's something else to do. In here, all of a sudden. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, the atmosphere in this particular level is thick. Not just thick, uh, but it's like slimy thick. I love it. Uh, I guess we'll go back through to the other place then. Hello. Hello. This place is going to be overrun with Etins by now, no doubt. Hello. I'm going to try not to use too much mana, because I get the impression that what's going to happen here is these things are going to basically drain my mana until I'm out. And then they're going to hit me with some boss that I have to beat. It's going to be hard. I have yet to determine which door it was that we opened earlier on. Um, oh, there's so many of them though. Let's just use blue. Chase them down so the thing behind us doesn't hit us. No doubt there's one behind me trying to kill me. Yeah. There is. Hello. Playing. So many of these things. It's unbelievable that there's nothing that's new or that I have to fight through them to get to. I guess we'll see. I don't know where it will be. Just keep moving. <laughs> don't stand anywhere for too long because you'll end up getting to do it. Very well. We'll go back through. But again, that's one of them, really, isn't it? There's manacles on that. How can it open as a door? But, I mean, at least, like, what you'd expect to be a solid pipe is still a solid pipe. And again, I mean, and maybe it's just a, a feature of the fact that I'm now used to more modern games, where I don't know if it's a, a design thing or a technology thing or what, but it seems like more modern games have more sensible tropes. Because... Having played modern games, I would never really think, apart from the fact that I've seen this game before, to try and open something that had a set of chains on it, thinking it might be a secret door. Now, why would I do that? There's no reason to believe that. Um, but presumably, back in these days, this was a perfectly sensible thing to say. I'm going to use up all my blue mana because, uh, I guess. I do have a couple of, I've got five full mana chalices, so it's not that scary. But I don't want to have like zero blue mana in. Oh, they're just going to keep spawning. Um, and like full green. That would be silly. What do I do? Can I pause the game and use the map? <laughs> I don't know where to go. Help. I assume we're pulling this here. Well. Let's go back. Oh, help. Use blue. Use green. Use green. We're out of blue. Use the green! Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what's changed. Did we pick up the other key? We need the axe key. It says so when you press that door. It must be in there. Uh, which is through here. This one. I actually think this... I, I used to believe this level was a lot bigger, and I'm wondering whether it actually still is. There's another door. Ah, yes, of course there is. Let's see what... That is open yet. No. Pay attention to where you're going. This way. And then this way, and then this door is open. Aha! Oh. I see you there. Just checking out ass? No. Being a scary Bernie serpent. 
That's a poison zone. I don't want to be poisoned by you. Please no. Love these um little t details where there's a channel for the door in the wall. It's really cool. That's a uh, something I stole, having learned about it, and then I see it everywhere I go, so it's not even near. Right. Okay, so I guess we have to drain these with these turning things. First thing I'm gonna do is not do that and actually clear the room. That seems like oh help. Who's dying? See, every single time I get hit, it's basically one quartz files worth of quartz flasks with pain. So, where have we gone? Did I kill them both? No. Well, I'm dancing around like a modern FPS player in an ancient game, so I'm not seeing anything. Pick these up. Even though we got 3 HP from a 10 HP thing, I'm going to live with it. So I'm guessing one of these has a way to go... That seems like a trap, if ever I saw one. Can I, like, walk? Yes, I can. Can I like walk, or can I just walk? Just don't... Look, it's the modern vernacular, okay? We're allowed to say like. We've been doing it since, like, the 70s. Like. So don't mess. Don't sweat it. How do we get out? Very well. It's making noises like there's... Stalkers in here, but I ain't seeing any. Also, is that... Ooh, there is another one. Let's have a look in here. I completely blanked that three times. So that goes in somewhere. So three of them have passageways underneath, so we might as well start with this one. It's very dark. Yeah, there's definitely more to this, I knew it. Interesting. Do you reckon we can make it? I don't know. I don't really want to because of that. Is it an inside cave or an outside cave? That's another one of those situations which I bring up a lot. You know, what's with the uh, what's with the completely random and apparently sort of it's, it's sort of a bizarre, obscure place to have a, a cave, right? Why is there a, why is there a cave in the effluvium? Why is it full of sewage? some sort of natural formation that people accidentally filled with poop. You can say. So now we go up here. Sorry, what? There's another one that is in there. Okay, okay, then. Run across here. Walk here. Get some files because we deserve them because we're good. See if we can open this. Interesting. Well, that's plan B. We'll explore the other three first, obviously. Ah, a little bit low on mana. Can't have a nose. What are we going to do about that? Don't know if there's any available to us. Another one. Okay. Notice how they've stopped giving you clues about where these things go. I think that's very interesting. And these go in pairs for some reason. Ah. That's the only armor we have? Not telling me. Oh, it's on the map. That than that. Yeah, it's the only armor we have, so our ace is seven. Wonder if that's better for us as a cleric. Don't know. Probably use this because so you can get value out of it. Right, eeny meeny miny monkeys. Let's go in this one because it's easier to find. Oi! Where are we? Mana. Go in the castle again, okay. Wait, this is called the Castle of Grief, not... No. Back at the start. Um, the thing that opened was in a different place. I guess that means... Okay. Um, what was I going to say? When we opened the thing earlier on in the game, it said it was in the Forsaken... It was in the what? Outpost. This is the Forsaken Outpost. This is the Effluvium, as we know. Have we found the Forsaken Outpost yet? And if so... Where is it? Is it here? Oh god! Hello. This is it. So this is where the doors opened. Uh, hmm. Ah, you knew that was coming. Yeah, let's beat it up. The door opened in the gibbet. Give it? 
Chip it. You're not. You don't need me to read for you. That was only one, but it was doing this weird sort of strafe blink thing. It made it look like there was two of them. Pretty cool. Might as well uh, do it. We know they're here. They're here. They're going to be... Ooh, blue mana. Very helpful. Ow. That only hit me for one HP. I genuinely don't understand how much damage these things are supposed to do. Uh, does, it, does it matter how hard it hits you, where it clips you? Green mana, thank you. Boots the speed would probably help in some situations, but I can't imagine which. Now we find the gibbet. Okay. Well, we know which one the gibbet is. Let's uh, start. This. That's really cool. I love this vaulted ceiling. Imagine that in the uh, early days, you wouldn't really be able to see much further than that. I mean, this vaulted ceiling. They put a lot of effort into it for saying that, you know, they didn't have much to go with. That's really cool. Of course, they could have lined these textures up. Ahem. But, you know, can't win them all. Well, thank you for watching this episode. We will step through this door in the next one, and I look forward to seeing you then.